Hello everyone, DIY student here. So you want to learn how to color a herringbone pattern. So the one thing to keep in mind with this is you want to alternate your rows. So you can see here, I colored here, but not here in this row. So for instance, up here, I'll show you how to do it. So you can see I'm coloring this one, but then I'm skipping this one to color this one. Now, the herringbone pattern traditionally leaves these squares that aren't being colored blank. However, if you wanted to spice it up a little bit, you could just use a different color in those. This pattern could also be done with paint, crayon, colored pencils, any type of art material that you can think of. Okay, so there's that row. Now, in the next row, you skip to the next square here. So I'm not coloring the one directly above the square. Instead, I'm coloring the one that's on a diagonal from the one I recently colored. And then I just keep going with skipping, just like I did at the first row. For how to draw a herringbone pattern, make sure to check out my, my video on how to create an iPhone case with a herringbone pattern. I also plan to, some point in the future, create a video on just how to create a herringbone pattern so that you could see it and it could be applied to anything. So make sure to check that out if you want and stay tuned for future videos. Please subscribe and like this video if you liked it.